Hello and welcome back to another set of readings of Lotus Love Tarot 555. Okay, you guys, I am here with your new moon reading. Oh my goodness. Okay, the time is going so fast. First and foremost, I always begin by saying thank you, thank you, thank you for all the love and support you continue to give our channel. Thank you for the comments that you leave. I read every last one of them. Just a little bit about this reading. This is a very mini reading, okay? This is just to give you an idea of where to set your intentions for this new moon that's coming in. Now, remember, your intentions will go from this new moon to the next new moon. So it's very important that you know how to set your intentions. Now, if you don't know how to set your intentions, there will be a video link below. Just look below and then hit that video link and you'll go right over to the instruction video on how to do that little bit about this message today. You can apply this to your sun, your moon, your rising, and for some, even your Venus sign. Keep in mind that the energies will flip-flop. So if it doesn't relate to you, it could relate to your partner or it could be an energy that's surrounding you, okay? There's no limit to this reading. So it could have been a situation that happened three months ago. Could be something that's going on today or could be something that's going to be happening in the very near future, okay? Don't forget to follow us on Instagram at Lotus Love Tarot 555. Subscribe to the channel, yes! subscribe and right next to the subscribe button is a little bell hit that bell and every time I release a reading you will be notified remember to like the reading you guys we do private readings and we have a patreon and don't forget to join us every Monday through Thursday for the Lotus Love show right here 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time now on to your reading Hello, my Aquarius. Okay, you guys, let's get right into your reading. And this is your new moon reading for July 2020. Okay, Holy Spirit, Divine Creator, the universe, what messages need to go for for the sign of Aquarius as they begin to set their intentions on the new moon occurring on July 20, 2020. What messages need to go for for the sign of Aquarius? What does Aquarius need to know? Okay. Okay, Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit, the universe, what messages need to go forth for the sign of Aquarius as they begin to set their intentions on the new moon occurring on July 20th, 2020. What messages need to go forth for the sign of Aquarius? Okay, okay Holy Spirit. Divine prayer of the universal messages need to go forth for the sign of Aquarius as they begin to set their intentions on the new moon occurring on July 20th, 2020. What messages need to go forth for the sign of Aquarius? Okay. Okay, my Aquarius. Okay, Holy Spirit, divine prayer of the universal messages need to go forth for the sign of Aquarius. As they begin to set their intentions on the new moon occurring on July 20th, 2020. What messages need to go forth for the sign of Aquarius? Wow. Okay. Okay, Holy Spirit, divine prayer of the universe. What messages need to go forth for the sign of Aquarius? As they begin to set their intentions on the new moon occurring on July 20th, 2020. What messages need to go forth for the sign of Aquarius? All right, you guys. All right, here we go. Aquarius, love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Okay, so we are putting the energy on our own selves at this point, Aquarius. This is the mindset you have to have. Love yourself first. Put yourself first in some situations and not put others. That's so important right now, especially if spirit is reminding you of that. Friendship. Make a date for a play day with one or more of your friends. And see, this is what we're talking about. This is something you want to do. So during this time period, you must get involved with something you want to do. You must get involved with something that is going to inspire and enlighten you. Okay? Um, you're guarded and protected. Wow. Very beautiful reading so far. Decide to be happy now. Well, look at that. 
Well, spirit is kind of telling you, if you were in a situation where you weren't happy, if you're in a situation that you're not feeling good, if you're in a situation you're not feeling happy about the space that you're in, this is what I'm feeling like spirit is trying to um, surround you with the support that you're needing. Uh, for some of you, you may be in a slump right now. So this is very clear to me that spirit is wanting you to pull yourself out of that space. Okay, do some research. You need more information about this situation. Look into it further before proceeding. Okay, so there's a situation that you're needing to look a little further into. You're needing to acquire about a situation. You're needing to get more information about a situation. For you all, for many of you, this will resonate in different ways. It could be a situation involving a person, a, a relationship, a career, a job, a money situation. It could be several different things. Moving, you know, trying to buy a car, whatever this situation is that you're needing more information, make sure you follow through on that. Okay, because if that's coming out, that means you don't need to make the decision right now. There's other things that you need to find out. Okay, uh, <clears throat> there's something that you need to compromise on. Okay, so if there's something that you're very rigid right now, that you're refusing to, to move on uh, with somebody, you need to compromise. Okay, anytime compromise is coming out from spirit, that means that you're kind of stirring in, in your own ways and something. And so spirit is reminding you and telling you, Look at somebody else's perspective in things and compromise. That is so important. That is so important that you must compromise. And your last one is, so it's something that's going to be happening within the next few months. And so once you compromise um, in a situation, it's like you're going to release something to possibly be able to happen for you within the next few months. But that compromise I'm feeling is weighing very heavily um, in your reading right now. Very, very heavily. Okay. All right, you guys, that concludes your reading. Don't forget to join me tonight for the Lotus Love Show, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, right here, okay, on our YouTube channel. Until next time, my loves. Bye-bye.